Hello, my name is Brown Weiss and welcome to my channel. As you can see, uh, things look a little bit different and that's because I am in a new location filming. I have very little room, so hopefully this video comes out well. We'll see how this goes. But I am here with a Bochi the Rock box opening. Uh, Bochi the Rock is one of my favorite animes that came out, I think it came out like two years ago. Um, it was amazing. I really love Bochi the Rock and when they got announced for JP, I was so excited. So to see this come to English, I I'm extremely excited to be playing it. I know it's been out for a little bit. I'm a little late to this box opening. I've been holding on to this box, but I'm still just as excited. Um, I actually have a playset for opening boxes for uh, to get plays. It's just not reasonable. So we got a Kita PR. Not bad. Actually, it looks really nice. Um, I don't have any of the PRs. They did not come with my playset, but um. I've been having fun playing the set. I tried a Simu's uh, or Tress's Collectibles six choice two bar build. Um, I like it. I just, I like the card advantage you get from the eight build. I think it's a little bit better. I mean, the, the six door two bar build. I prefer it. But let's get into the box opening. Look at these packs. These packs are nice. I like how they have like foiling on the pack. I hope. Mr. Packs look this nice in the future. All right, so we have the commons. Ooh, I love this scene. Oh my god, when she shows up to like throw a little party to invite them over. I, I absolutely this, this anime is great. And the Kita Double R. This is part of the eight choice deck. If you're gonna run the Kita deck, this is kind of the number one combo you need. It's a good combo. It's not as good as the Bochi stuff, sadly. And we have the cover art. See? I love it. I love it when they like the cover is like a card that you can get. I don't, it just makes it feel more special. Even if it's like not a good card, it still just feels cool. <laughs> All right, pack number two. I'm really hoping to get like a Bochi SP because uh, she is kind of my favorite character in the show. Very relatable. Very. This is the uh, main bar combo. So if you're running the um, like a good she's a good finisher just because she's super efficient and um, it's just good. And it's also on a bar so you can splash it. So when I say, oh, you run two copies because like it's easy to grab the bar. As soon as you trigger it, I mean, you have it. Ooh, looks like we got foil. All right, let's see. Let's go slow. Let's go slow. Is it an SP or an SR? And ooh, a KBR, which is the exclusive rarity for uh, Bochi the Rock. This is uh, really nice. This is a uh, uh, Tori. Let's cards push to the stage. Oh, this is the, it gets you the, um, it puts the event in memory. Which one? And you get the salvage. Oh, this is a good card. I really like it. Look at that. It's beautiful. The foiling is cool. The textures on it. It's really nice. I don't know if it's coming through the camera, but this card is beautiful. Awesome. It's kind of like an SP. It looks like it's got a signature and then we got it. Bochi. Oh my God. I love this scene. I love the scene so much in the show. <laughs> uh, well, not bad. Not a bad pool. Not a bad pool at all. I absolutely love that card. Well, I call this a win. I don't think the KBRs are worth very much, but I'll take it. And here's that Ryu finisher. Ooh, we had, we had some, we had a bunch of stuff in there. All right. Well, this is the, uh, the part of that six choice build that um, Justice Collectible showed off. Um, you run this, it's an early play and it kind of gives you advantage and stuff. It's a, it's a really cool combo. It reminds me of like the Ichika deck. If you, if you've ever played, um, quintessential quintuplets, there's a deck kind of like that where it runs three combos. This reminds me of that, but this finisher is insane. And for me, this is kind of what's keeping the, the set together. I really like this finisher. It's really good, really efficient. It gets you a stock and uh, a hand so it helps you dig for the climax another copy and it it's low on stock this card's insane <laughs> you only need four stock to triple combo which is absolutely nuts and if you don't play the game and you just like pochi the rock uh you should really try playing uh this set it's actually not a bad set pretty solid hey that's the card we got look at that big di honestly yeah that's a big difference yeah, spoils. Look at that. This foils so much better. I love the foiling. The foiling in the set's amazing. Maybe, maybe I should have bought boxes. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to save money right now, so I can't even afford boxes. But 
Jeez. Ooh, we got the Bochi uh, level one combo. This combo is kind of like the main one that everybody runs. It's basically uh, Itsuki from Quint. So basically, you just ditch a card, look at the top three, and add any characters. It's super strong. Or the event. Yeah, Disgraceful History, yeah. Or the event. So we haven't seen the event yet, but the event's hilarious. The event's like all <laughs> her being embarrassed. Kind of funny. And ooh, another S. That is huge. Look at this. This SR is actually really, really cool because this is one that you run in almost all the decks. Basically, you get to discard a card from your hand, any card, so you can get rid of Climax just be gunked up. And you can uh, salvage a card equal to this number of this level zero that we haven't pulled yet. Uh, this card is awesome, and to get an SR of it is even cooler. So we, we've gotten some very playable SRs, which is extremely nice because sometimes you open this and you get all the unplayable stuff as foils so we, we, we're doing good i don't know if the, we can get a third foil but if we can i mean let's see let's hope <laughs> if not like ha this half of the box had foil so if you're if you're getting packs maybe uh, get the left side of the box if you're buying packs from the store you want to get hits and here's the event this event actually has different arts but it's all her just being embarrassed and it's hilarious i love it it's a good card lets you search your deck for a character but it goes into memory very good there's another version where it's like a two wine and it does something else um they're both really good usually you run either two two or three one but it's still super cool oh and hey we got the foil. oh no, no different art but still very very cool Shiny is always better than not shiny. And we got this cool 2-1. This card's insane. It's got it's like overstatted. It's a 2-1 with two soul, and it lets you um, shuffle back cards into your opponent's deck. So very strong, very good decompression tool. And oh my god, I, I still love this card. Like, look at the art on this. These are just oh my god, I love the art on this. <laughs> Ugh. Bochi the Rock is amazing. If I had to say, though, my favorite character from Bochi the Rock, besides Bochi, because I feel like the main character can't be your favorite. So if I had to pick out of the other three, Ryu's really funny, but I can't choose her because Earthweave and Fire has reserved the likings of that person. Weiss and Chill has Kita, or not Kita, uh, what's her name? I'm forgetting her name. Uh, Nijika. And he, so I guess I have to go with Kita because no one has uh, reserved Kita yet, I guess, because she's the least popular. Although she has one of my favorite scenes with her when she does the uh, mir miracle race. <laughs> oh, this scene's great, too. Oh, my God. I love this show. But yeah, when when she does the whole like she's like, Pochi, you're doing it wrong. You're being too you're being too nervous. You got to you got to put all your uh, your passion into it. Ooh, my God. I'm so bad at being that. And she's like, Pua Pua. Pua Pua. Miracle Rice. <laughs> I love this show. Oh my goodness. This show's great. I love this when she goes like full Super Saiyan. <laughs> I know it's just a common, but oh my god, it's hilarious. This is like the uh, main Bochi finisher. This is the one where I wanted the SSP of. It, it, it's. The art's awesome. The black in contrast with the pink just makes the card look awesome. I mean, just the regular, like, double rare version of this, like the non foil and stuff, looks amazing. So, like, having the signature, oh my God. Just like the, the, even just the base set of this is amazing. And this is the, honestly, the one thing that really worries me. Ooh, a new SR. What the? Fr okay, so you can get three foils. Never mind. Whoa, I thought we were done. What? When this card's placed on stage. Oh, okay, so this isn't that great, but still. Oh my god, it's her being in love with Ryu. That's the, the flavor. The flavor of this set is just amazing. Because she's a she's obsessed with uh, Ryu. <laughs> I love this card. Even though this card sucks, um, it's an amazing card and I'm glad it exists. Um but yeah, one thing that really uh scares me about Union Arena is that Union Arena, the base cards kind of suck. Like they look ugly. So maybe the foils look really, really cool. But um, look at Weiss. Like Weiss, like look at, look at these are just the common, uncommon. Like you're not going to get that in Union Arena. And that's like the one thing I think it's going to fail. Well, I finished with this, the box opening.
look over you got me yeah, at this cool little very playable sr but no alternate art this one i don't know if it has an alternate art i didn't really pay attention because this is one of those like kind of throwaway cards but i love this card this card's great the flavor on it's beautiful for being in love with Ryu. and the creme de la creme the kbr very playable card very beautiful bochi just jumping off the stage <laughs> I remember this episode. I know that it's like a chibi version, but I love it. She jumps off and just boom. <laughs> Anyways, um, sorry. I'm just like nerding out over, uh, you know, Bochi the Rock. Sorry I was late to this. Um, I had a whole move, as you can see behind me. Everything's different. So this is how things are going to be for the meantime. Uh, I'm going to set up like an official desk area and stuff, but there's a, there's a lot that needs to be done before I do that. So for now, it's just temporary. I'm just on a plastic table and we're making it work. <laughs> But anyways, thank you for watching uh, this Bochi the Rock box opening. And let me know who is your favorite Bochi the Rock character. And are you like, have you bought this set? Are you planning on it, getting this set? Because for me, this set is amazing. Whether player, non-player, collector, the cards look awesome. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one.